Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 apps that no iPhone user should have on their device. You don't need these apps and most of them will just do more harm than will do good for your device. And in most cases, you will probably even pay money for those apps. So make sure that you check out this video and all these apps and see what kind of apps you should never install on your iPhone. First of all, are antivirus apps. Now, iPhones won't get a virus. There are a lot of different things that you can get on your iPhone, maybe like the calendar, like events that you get. That's, of course, just a calendar that will be added to your iPhone. That can be removed easily. You go to your calendars and just remove it from here or maybe other bugs or like different spams and phishing, but you don't need an actual antivirus for your iPhone. So just be aware if you see an app that is offering basically a tool to just check for viruses on your iPhone, just know that that is a scam. And if it's asking for money, it's even worse because you will pay for something that will actually do nothing for your device. So just keep in mind your iPhone doesn't actually need an antivirus app. So anytime you see one, just know that you should never install it on your iPhone. Next up are battery draining apps. Now, in my opinion, these are not all, of course, just bad apps, but some of them are just poorly coded and they will drain the battery of your iPhone. So that is very simple. You head on to your settings and head on under the battery section. And when you go here, what you will see is a list of all the apps that you have on your iPhone. Now, if you see an app that you use a lot and it's at the top here, that is normal because of course as long as you as long as it's that you use the app it will consume more battery but if you see an app that you have maybe recently installed and you have just used it for a few minutes but it's still at the top here or it's showing that it's using battery in the background then that app needs to go just in any case that you don't actually have anything to do about it you just need that app you can keep it otherwise just remove the app and make sure you go ahead and find of course a good replacement on the app store because there are a lot of options and most of the time you will find tens of different apps that probably do the basic same thing now when it comes to the battery on your iphone there are also apps that will offer to save battery and also enable like fast charging or something like that that's just not real make sure you never use those apps or never buy those apps because sometimes those might even be paid so you don't want to do that battery saving on the iphone and also things like making your iphone charge fast and things like that those are not done by apps so a few things that you can do of course in order to make sure that you preserve battery in your iphone you can do that by yourself or just go ahead and install a shortcut that will do that automatically like turning on the low power mode or just cutting off wi-fi or cellular data or just turning down the brightness things like that but an app won't do anything about it and also when it comes to fast charging now fast charging on your iphone has to be done with the new of course USB-C to the lightning cable that all, that comes of, of, of course with newer iPhones and you will have to have like a 12 watt adapter and if you have those and an iPhone 8 or newer I believe it is you can go ahead and fast charge your device otherwise an app won't do that for you. Next up apps that will overheat your device. This is really important and it comes down to also the battery health of your device because when the battery tends to get really really hot and it stays hotter for a long time that of course will damage the battery way faster make sure that you always replace an app that is overheating your iphone with another app now you can just take a look right here if i go under privacy and go right here in analytics and improvement analytics data and right here we have analytics the last one is here if i just tap the share button i have a little tool here called power utility it will basically show me all the details regarding the battery of my device it will also show right here the average temperature now i will leave this tool linked right down below in the description of the video if you want to check it out and if the average temperature is really high in your device maybe like 28 or 29 or 30 then you might need to take a look at the apps that you're using all the way using your iphone because that's a bit too high 
Next up is side loading apps. Now you probably have heard about a rumor that side loading is coming to iPhone and it will most likely come as Apple has to compile the EU laws that has to come to the iPhone before March 2024. So that will come, but it will probably be very restricted and, and controlled of course by Apple. But again, as of current, there is no official like or just safe way to sideload apps on your iPhone. There are a lot of like alternative app stores that you can get on your iPhone, which offer different apps. And most of them sometimes are just modified or customized. So make sure to stay away from those for now. Like you get apps that will offer you extra benefits from sideloading, like as, as I said, third party app stores, but those are never safe. Make sure you don't install them on your iPhone. Next up are VPNs. Now, when it comes to VPN apps, you know that on the App Store, there are a ton of VPN apps and most of them are actually very expensive. Most of them will require subscription and are very, very expensive. Now, I'm not saying all v VPN apps are bad. Of course, there are a lot of good VPN apps and you should always go for the safer option, even though they might be a bit more expensive always go for the VPN apps that are more popular. And of course, more people know them. They have been like around for a long time. Never go for the really cheap or totally free VPN apps because they might not be the ones that you have to install on your iPhone. Now, the same thing goes for browsers. Now, of course, on the iPhone, we have Safari and it's quite good with the like latest updates. Apple has made it a bit better. A lot of people prefer to actually use other browsers like Google Chrome or Firefox or something like that. Now, in my opinion, those are good options. If you're using something like Google Chrome or Firefox, those are like really great browsers. If you prefer them over Safari, then go ahead and use them. But don't just install any like browsers that you see on the internet on like App Store, because a lot of them might just track everything that you're doing track your IP address and of course all your history all the cookies and everything that you have saved on that browser so always again for VPNs and also browsers always just go with the popular options and the safe options when it comes to mobile devices a really important thing is storage there are a lot of apps that will promote cleaning the storage of your iPhone most of the time they won't do anything for you and even if they do something like finding duplicates of your photos or your contacts that is something you can already now do with ios 16 without having to pay anything you can just do it from the photo library and again when it comes to storage the best way is to go to settings in general go to the iphone storage right here and just check the storage of your iphone see what is taking more place and go ahead and free up the storage just go to your photos find the duplicates remove them delete the browsing data from your safari and check here maybe there are some apps that are taking way a lot of storage that that they should and of course you can delete them or if you see an app that has a lot of storage like you can see here TikTok, the app itself it's actually not that big 300 megabytes but it has like 860 megabytes of data here so of course you don't want to uninstall it you can just go ahead delete it and reinstall it then it will come back of course with way less data that's the way you can clear up more storage on your iphone and not just pay for any app that promotes that it does it now, when it comes to apps, there are some crazy apps on the App Store. There are apps that are actually really, really expensive. You should always look for better alternatives and never install a really expensive app. There are apps like there was an app before, like a few years ago. It was an, a an app that was like $1,000, I believe, and it the name of the app was I'm rich or something like that. And it wouldn't do anything. You pay $1,000, it will just show that I'm rich, something like that, pretty crazy. So just be aware when installing apps, especially when paying really high prices for apps, always make sure that you check the app store and find the best and the cheapest option. And last but not least, this is really important. Always make sure that you go to your settings, go on the privacy and security, and then go right here to app privacy reports and see what apps are using your data. So you will have data and sensor access, 
app network activity and see what the apps that you have on your device are doing. If you see an app that you maybe haven't used for a while, but it's still having access to some like maybe your contacts or your photos, make sure you go ahead and check that app, maybe even delete it completely from your device. If an app doesn't have anything to do with that stuff, it doesn't have to be there. So just go ahead and remove it completely from your iPhone. So that is it for this video, guys. These are 10 different apps that you should never install on your iPhone. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this, and I will see you on the next one.